and healthy because whether or not you're looking to change jobs, sometimes things just kind of fall into your lap. And it is a wonderful thing when they just fall into your lap, right? I had a mentor who told me that um, like for his last five or six jobs, he never applied for them. They all came to him, people that knew him and that knew his skill sets. They would say, hey, you know, David, this person's looking for this. Or this organization is looking for that. That's the effect of networking and networking well, right? So the third strategy is don't wait for someone to offer you an opportunity. Go actively seek it. Seek out promotions, seek out roles, seek out information. Again, let's go back up to that networking. Seek out folks who you believe can help you as well. Understand how you can help them because networking is a two-way street. You're giving value first and then you're getting value, right? So again, don't wait for opportunities, actively seek them out. For instance, prepare a case for a promotion, right? Don't just like wait like, yo, they got to promote me now because I've been here the longest. Yeah, don't do that. Make the case for it. Gather your data, right? Do the, you know, volunteer for exercises or even consider a role. Consider changing your role into another industry. I spoke about before about accounting. All fields need accountants. It's not just like, oh, you can only be in accounting field. No, across the board, you know, government agencies have accountants. Corporations have accountants, folks in the accounting field. Nonprofits have folks in the accounting field. So actively seek these things out. And that way, if you feel stagnated, you're getting new information that really helps to pull you out of that. So explore, though, opportunities that align with your passion and your skills. That's the thing about it. You know, you don't if you know, if there's some jobs that I would just never do I, in certain industries, I just it's just not my thing. So don't pursue something that's not your thing. Do invest in these things that are that align with your passion and your skills. Invest in a good career coach if you can't figure out quite what that is. That is what we do well. Okay. And the next strategy, personal brand.